All right, Cyclone Troubleshooting Guide. You've just installed your new Cyclone motor and it does not move. So what can you do? You will need a uh, multimeter. You will need to remove all the accessories and just keep, keep it simple. Controller, motor, throttle. First, make sure all the pins are lined up, not bent, and they're like, at the same height that means that it's not there's not like a pin that it's pulled out inspect the back side make sure it's all there make sure that the little loop there is intact because without this the controller will not turn on do the same on the other side of the hall sensor connector flip it make sure all the female uh, terminals are lined up and are still present Connect the hall sensor, make sure it's fully inserted. Do the same for the phase wires. All three are fully inserted. Make sure that you have no accessories connected to the controller. Make sure it's like as simple as possible. Throttle, controller, motor, that's it. Inspect also the throttle cable, make sure it's fully inserted. This is the ignition wire. It should be connected to your battery positive and goes into the throttle, into that switch here and goes back to the sensor connector. It loops back here and goes back into the controller. That just tells the controller to turn on or turn off. So really simple. So first step is to check if you got your a voltage reading here. If you don't, that probably means this wire is disconnected or maybe the connector is bad. So best is to just get a ground signal from somewhere. It can be here or in this case, I will just use the ground on the throttle. Take your positive probe and poked the back of the connector. In this case, I got 63 volts, so it means that I'm getting a signal from the battery up to here, and I'm moving to the other side, and I got the same voltage. That tells me the switch is working fine. If you do not have like a signal exiting uh, the ignition, that means you need to replace this unit. Now. You have a voltage reading here, but let's say the motor does not move. So the first step would be to check if you have a throttle signal. So this is the throttle signal. You got three wires, ground, you got the signal wire, which is the green one, and you got the red, which is a five volt DC power supply. Actually 4.2, but does not matter. Make sure you got the supply voltage. In this case, I got 4.4, which is perfectly fine. Move the red probe to the green wire. You should have something near 0.8 up to one volt. That is the resting voltage of the throttle. And as soon as you increase the throttle, the voltage will rise. As you can see, I'm up to 1.2 and the motor is still not, not moving. It normally starts at around 1.3. And you get full RPM at around 3.2, 3.3 volts. Uh, if you don't have a motor connected, uh, you can go full throttle. It will be around 4.6, uh, sorry, 3.6, 3.7. So if you do not have that voltage, or the range is like pure nonsense, or it's not moving, it's like locked in at four volts, it means that the hall sensors in the throttle are bad and you need to replace the whole unit. But if you do have a voltage similar to what I'm getting here, 
you should move on and go over to the all sensor. To test the all sensors, you just need to watch my other video that I'm explaining exactly how to do it. Once you do that and you confirm that the all sensors are perfectly fine, you should move out and disconnect the motor from the controller and disconnect the battery and test the MOSFETs or the power transistors on your controller. That will be also in another video. So, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.